Hi all, today I'm going to show you how to let the users create sequences, avoiding ALM and building complicated flows or real-time workflows for phone calls, tasks and emails to be pre-populated on creation of a lead. Let the magic begin. So what you can see here is a lead form with Dynamics 365 inside Sales Hub. Inside the out-of-the-box timeline you can currently see there is no activities associated to the sales rep or the end user. In the ribbon, I'm going to click on the connect sequence and you'll see there's some sequences I've pre-populated. Pre I'm just going to cancel for now. Navigating to the sales accelerator in the left hand menu, when we click on here, it'll open up the sequence. We'll click on create sequence and this will open up a view for the sequences. You can see there's one I populated earlier, but I'm going to click on new sequence and inside here you can see uh, many templates out of the box. There is two types, user template and start from blank. If we use a template, what you can see in here is the record type is blanked out. So what we're going to do is go to start from blank and in here you can see the type which we're going to choose of lead. This is basically just pointing it to the record type that you want to put it into. Then we're going to add a sequence name and then best practices, we'll add a description and then we can click next. Uh, this then starts creating the sequence. What you can see in here is a box which you can add steps and conditions. And first thing we're going to do here is we're going to add an email step. So if we name the title, so contact email, um, and then we can add an email template, so anything out of the box or anything you've pre-populated beforehand. So for this example, we're just going to choose a high volume outbound. You can see that on, on the right hand side, we've added that, we'll click save, and that's now going to add it to the email template. Next, we're going to add a phone call. So you can see we can add a title to the phone call. Um, high level, I'm not going to go into the details of how you um, change the times, uh, but in here, this is just going to add a specific phone call on creation of a record. Uh, and then we're going to move to adding a task as well. So any specific tasks, I'll just name this one, uh, set a field, um, click save. And then the final one, we're going to actually update a field. So you can set the field that is on the lead form and what we're pointing it to and then we can also change the values in there. So we'll select the value and click save. What I do want to quickly show you is a condition. So if you look inside the conditions, we can click on the business process stage. We can select the, st the process flow that's related uh, and then we can put some trigger modes in there which will take you off on a yes, no condition. I'm going to save and then we're going to activate sequence. Once activated, I'm going to navigate back to the lead. So you can see here's the lead I created earlier. I'm going to select it and then on the ribbon you can see connect sequence. So this is one way that we can connect a sequence to it. But this example, I'm going to open up the lead. Um, once it's loaded, you can see connect sequence again and you'll see the, the sequences that we have created. But first, I just want to show you the timeline. The timeline's empty. Um, I'm going to click back on connect sequence. We're going to select on the sequence that we have just created and then we're going to click on connect. Once we have clicked connect, if I go back to summary and I put in a refresh, um, I'm doing this just so you can see now that there should be something populated in the timeline. You can navigate through to the timeline and you can see in the activity that the email has now been created. But the fun part is with the sales accelerator. So if we click on the sales accelerator, you'll see now in the sales accelerator pane, we have a tasks list. And on the right hand side, we now are using the up next uh, assistant and inside here you can see that we've got email and mark complete so this is the email we've created once we open it up you can see the template is loaded um, and then also um, the names but if we click on email engagement we can also see the enhancements so if we click do not follow on them you'll start to see things like email opened etc we're going to mark complete and what you can see we can also add a note we'll click complete move, move next sometimes it takes a little while to go through let me just click um, on the mark complete again click on mark complete you can see it's now moved across to add a phone call um, again I'll click on mark complete it will refresh the assistant loads asks for a note and you can see we're now on the task you can see the task at hand I'll click mark complete again so we're moving through the motions and then it's just automatically tried to update a field but this time around we've just got an error but we'll skip past that just so you can see nice work all completed and your sequences are now empty and inside the timeline if I give it a refresh you'll see that these are now populated so uh, you can go back to them. Thank you all for listening.